I'm going to tell you how to break a soul tie. I'm going to explain to you what it is because sometimes we think it's something more sophisticated than what it is. These are everyday behaviors that we exhibit and we pass on to our younger generations. I'm going to give you some simple examples and you can see if you fall under those categories if you're doing the same thing. A family curse is a reoccurring problem like a repayment for something in your family tree, in your family bloodline, from pa pass on from generations to generation. No one is at fault. No one that's alive wants to take fault for it and maybe there is no one to blame. Why? You cannot choose the family that you are born into, but you can choose to change things. You can choose to break them. Break the generational curse. Change things around. And yes, it can be done. Like I said, a family curse is a repayment for something. Maybe somebody in the past generations in your family did something. And in the video prior to this one, I spoke about how when somebody is sentenced to like three life terms in prison, <laughs> they can only do one life term. But why are they sentenced to three, two, three life terms? Right? Maybe that is a generational curse. Okay? But I'm not going to get that, that, that deep into, into it. I'm going to talk about what we do today that adds to whatever generational abuse we receive. Whether, you know, we were mistreated as children or having bad luck no matter what you try. You know, I think about people who go to college like somebody else went to college they invest their money like somebody has invested their money they they try to do the right thing and nothing works out for them that might might be due to a generational curse like something that they have to you know, cleanse from their bloodline I, I did my work i'm not finished you're never finished but whenever i see any exhibit any behavior that it was detrimental to maybe a family member or has been it's been going on from generation to generation I try my best to change it that's all I can do all right so an argument I had a friend once before told me that you can't avoid arguments at home she said to me that everybody argues I said I don't argue I mean I have gotten loud right but if you and I are both Doing this, you'll never see me doing that because nobody's listening. It's more like this. Nobody's listening, okay? Tell me who can hear who. That doesn't make any sense at all. What is even worse is that we're teaching this to them. They grow up doing the exact same thing. This is how they resolve problems. Guess what? This is learned behavior. Okay? I knew this. I always knew this. Now, let's say you're a single mother. And you're sad most of the time. And you just want some attention. you just like <laughs> a ridiculous amount of attention. Right? And you have probably not the highest self-esteem. You feel that men don't treat you right, they don't respect you, but you still need attention. And you go looking for attention wherever you can find it. Right? And you're a mother that stays home with her kid most of the time. Right? You're home. You're not like your mother always leaving you alone with your brothers and sisters. You stay home with your kids. But you invite a lot of boyfriends home, a lot of friends home. You think your kid is not learning from that behavior? You think your kids are not learning what they're seeing at any age. This is how you programming your children. You're teaching your sons that this is what he wants. And you're teaching your daughter that this is how she should be. Hey, I'm not a psychologist. I am not, I am no, I'm not a professional in any of those fields. But this is common sense, okay? This is what is being made acceptable to the children. They get familiarized with behavior like this. They see things like this every day. So, hey, my father went to jail. My uncle went to jail. My this and that. Everything that these kids see, 
just like everything that you saw. That's what they're learning. So never say that I'm not doing the same thing my mother's doing. At least I stay home with my kids. Do you know what I'm saying? You're teaching your kids all type of bad behavior. And then you don't know they're learning. Oh, I don't do it in front of my kids. I don't think my kid ain't know who this is. You think kids are dumb? I remember things that happened in my childhood, right? From the time I was three years old, I remember things. Now, I'm not saying I remember every single thing. I remember occurrences, okay? There were things that were happening. Okay, I remember who had a lot of boyfriends coming home. I remember who went out a lot. I remember who was self-sabotaging all the time. Every time she had a good um, a man that could have provided for us, she was out. Um, but I'm not blaming anyone because obviously she had her own issues, right? Her own, her own insecurities. This is what a lot of families today look like. To me, okay? This is what a lot of them look like. Um, if it's not drugs, he looked pimp to me, she looked loose, she looked confused, and like she have a so, um, some type of low self-esteem, and he just like, he want to do evil all the time. And this person, like I said, it's on drugs. I'm not going to teach you, but how to do this. You have to learn everything yourself. You're the one that has to, you might be the one that have to break the family curse signs of a generational curse it could be as simple as emotional instability hereditary family history or illnesses divorce broken broken families poverty you having no ambition no drive or the slave mentality <laughs> If you don't know what a slave mentality is, look it up. This is not what this video is about. Now, let's say this is you. So let's put let's put you here, but no. Let's put you here, okay? And let's just go down to where these are your children and these are your grandchildren, okay? You, your children, your grandchildren and or you and your spouse or you and your partner your children and your grandchildren you have to change your behavior for this to trickle down if you continue with the same behavior that means that your children is going to adapt to it right and they're going to teach it here there there are instances where like me <laughs> I didn't do anything I saw any of my family members do. So there, there is a possibility that you can be a different person and you decide, you know, I'm not going to live like that. You went the other way and you taught better um, behaviors. Let's just call it behavior. Let's stick to that word. To your children. And now that's what they have to, um, that's what they have to offer their own children in their own families. Because, you know, this person can be also married. This person can be also married. You know, and you teach better behavior to your children. This is one of the seven signs. Broken homes. Realize you have to be honest with yourself and tell yourself that there is something wrong. Alright, don't be like, oh, I like the ladies a lot. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to live that family. Something is wrong. That woman, and I'm not picking on the men. I'm just using an example, okay, because women do the same thing today. That woman loves you. And cherishes and she thinks you're a king she thinks you all that wait till when your daddy comes home just picture that and you like you know what I don't want to put up with all these responsibilities so I'm gonna go get me one of these now she gonna give you a hard time <laughs> okay she'll give you a run for your money and then you want to go back to being this person but by the time that you go back to this person this woman already resents you even if she takes you back you've already broken her heart okay so now this little one right here has seen that she's also afraid that you leave she, it's just it's just do you see what i'm saying generation is just a cycle of destruction of um mental and spiritual breakdown that you created when do you know one thing I want to say about men okay I don't understand how could you just leave your your offspring your family like that I don't know how you can just do it 
for one of these. <laughs> I like the way this looks, but this is what you want to end up with. <laughs> she don't even know who she is. So who you dating? <laughs> and it, your imagination, by the way. All right, so let, let's get serious. Now, I told you it's like arguing in front of your children. It's like cursing your family. Okay, this happens. He learns that behavior. All right. You guys are too busy. Also, people who go to work and like pay little attention to the child. This is what I call transfer of responsibility. He thinks it's her responsibility to pay attention to the child. She probably say, if I ain't, ain't doing it, I ain't doing it. And nobody's paying attention to this child. But where did you learn that from? Okay. If you had saw, if you seen better, if you had saw, if you seen better, you probably would do better. The child is sad, often blaming themselves and developing eating disorders just like entertain them like with movies or cartoons or whatever it's just ridiculous the things that we do but we don't know where we learned it when I was younger this is what I used to see all the time I always saw mom dad a boy and a girl that's what I remember seeing when I was growing up I don't see that anymore this is what I see now a lot always like it's the child is a handful because she look at how she's dressed like she's just coming from work or she's going to work she has to do everything herself or or maybe he got to do everything himself right it becomes a lot of work instead of yelling um the things that you don't like like for example in my relationship like I have a headache they say I, I don't I don't scream like that but if you get me to a point like you were always screaming and you were always yelling, I'm like, I'm not your child. No, 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 don't nobody want to hear that. And the kids don't need to hear that. That's me. That's how I get loud. But I don't call you an MF. I don't call you a stupid N. I don't call you a loser. I don't tell you about your D-I-C-K problems. I don't do that. I don't do that. That's horrible. I, you know, if I was a man, think about it. Don't call your woman a bitch. Don't call her a hoe. Don't call her this. Don't tell her about her parents. Boy, listen, you're not going to get nowhere with that. Like, are you trying to belittle her or are you trying to get your point across? This is how you get your point across. You sit down and you talk about it. You don't have to use these exact words. Use your own words. But how about you tell somebody how you feel about it and this and that and the other. You know what I'm saying? And try to keep the family together. Now, I want to read something else to you. And again, a family curse is a recurring problem in your bloodline. Okay? Pass on from generation to generation and no one that's alive wants to take blame for it. And who knows if anyone is to blame. Some people just didn't know better. You cannot choose the family you were born into, but you can choose to change things. How to change things. How to break this curse. You have to fully accept that there is a problem, just like any other bad behavior, okay? You have to stop the argument and try to make sense of things. When you do this, nobody's paying attention, nobody's listening. All you're doing is this, putting a curse, let's say, on your children. Now, they're going to continue that behavior, that unhealthy behavior. I'm saying this because people be, oh, my mother, the reason why I'm like that, because my mother used to do this and that. And trust me, sometimes you're doing the same thing. So stop crying, okay? How? Stop being this to your children or to your significant other. This is what you want to create, even if you think it's corny because you never had it before. And nobody in your, in your circle lives like this. Breaking a cycle and creating a better family tree. Learn to fully forgive your abusers, whomever, no, it doesn't matter who it is. Learn to forgive them. And you have to recognize that it's not normal. If, you, if you're doing a whole lot of things to yourself, to your family, yelling at your kids, you're beating them. Like, you're just being wicked. You know what wicked is, okay? No, I'm just, I'm just disciplining them. There's a difference between discipline and being wicked to your own, all right? So break the behavior, the evil spirit. Break that evil spirit. You don't want it no more. Create a better family tree. Change the behavior to something more positive and healthy. 
Teach them other things. Just act better. The ki th these kids, we're watching you. Change your behavior. Do things different. Change your friends. Change your circle. Move from where you live if you live in a dump. You know, just think different. Think outside the, your box. <laughs> um, create new behavior. And then, the curse is broken. You wouldn't mind being corny and having something like this. Just look. This is not a perfectly slim woman. He don't look like he's all that in shape. But I bet you these kids are happy. They're happy. They're tired. They're going home. They've been outside all day. <laughs> yeah. I just... I just wanted to share some things with you guys and I wanted to tell you is like this is a simple example of a generational curse and I tell you that you're not the only victim if you're continuing that and you're doing it with your own family you're also um, teaching you're passing it on to the next generation all right to your children and grandchildren because I laugh when people are like I don't know why he like that he always getting in trouble he always doing stuff he always doing this and that <laughs> guess what you raised them you raised her all right you raised him and you raised her who do you think they learned that I don't do stuff like that you sure you never did it so did you have her or him around people that do this stuff like that who was babysitting them? I mean, be real with yourself. They must have learned it over there by that babysitter that used to watch him. And then your friends have got the same mindset as you. It's like, yeah, that's right, because I ain't never seen you do stuff like that. You knew that babysitter was doing stuff like that. Why are you send your, your kids over there <laughs> to learn from her? All right, so don't, sometimes there is someone to blame. You should know better. Don't send your kids anywhere where, where that's not a clean environment. If you don't want them to learn what, what they do in their house. You know, don't have your kids around people that do stuff that you don't want your kids to learn. And don't exhibit behaviors. Don't behave in ways that you don't want your kids to grow up and act like. If you don't want your kids to be like that, don't do it. Don't have a bunch of drug dealers, um, um, you know, <laughs> fast moving girls. <laughs> Lose women around your children. Your son, if you have a small son, eight, nine, you know, whatever, he's going to be looking at her like, wow, that's my dream girl. <laughs> Can't wait to grow up to have one just like that. And then you don't know why he married that floozy. It's your fault. Because those, those were your friends. Anyway, take some responsibility and change things around. If you want to be, you either want to be part of the problem or part of the solution. I want to be part of the solution, so I changed some things. I said, I'm not going to be like that. My brother was a good, when he was alive, he was a good father to his children. His woman was the one that was loose. Uh, my sister was there for her children as well. So, we all changed from what we saw. We were there for our children, maybe, because we was missing that, so we gave it to our children. Anyway, but there's a lot of people who don't do it that way. They're missing love, so they, they do the same thing. They pass on the same type of energy to their children, right? And they teach them the same behaviors, and then their children do it to their children, and they hang out with people that do the same thing, and I can go on forever. So, knock it off. All right? There's a point I was trying to make, and I hope you got it. And um, that's all I have to say for this video. Make some changes. Bye-bye.